Hi, I'm Hamish McAlpine, Principal Consultant here at Accentia. I'm really happy to give you our monthly roundup. Yeah, so I think the first thing, really, really looking forward to getting back to in-person conferences after a, a break for a couple of years. There's three major conferences coming up in, in our space. The first of which is Praxis Oral um, down in, here in the UK in Brighton. Uh, that's followed by ASTP, which is being uh, delivered in Lisbon in Portugal. And then UIN, the University Industry Interaction Conference in uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Really pleased to say that Oxentia are sponsoring both Praxis Oral and UIN this year. And really looking forward to getting back out and, and reconnecting with old friends, meeting new friends. So really looking forward to, to doing that. So the second trend we're seeing is a real enthusiasm and um, kind of increasing of support around the commercialization of social sciences and the arts and humanities. So previously, um, commercialization, particularly in life sciences and engineering, really well established. So great to see that more disciplines are showing an interest in how to commercialize their research for not just economic, but societal benefit and addressing those really big societal challenges, which the social sciences can, can contribute so much to. Um, we're seeing this through our um, programme management of the Aspect programme um, run out of the London School of Economics. Um, we're also seeing this through things like the Economic and Social Research Council's Impact Acceleration Account uh, funding call here in the UK, where they're asking institutions to submit bids for £250,000 a year over five years. Uh, with a very um, explicit focus for some parts of the bid on how they can, how institutions can increase that commercialization of the, of the social sciences. So that's great to see. The REF will be published in the UK. This is obviously a huge deal for participating institutions, both in terms of, of the reputation, but also the funding that that, that exercise drives. Um, and I guess whilst people involved in that, it, the next exercise, which will not be for several years, will be possibly the last thing on their mind. What we do know from our work in knowledge exchange and commercialisation is that sometimes it takes many years to really develop deep, strategic, impactful relationships with your external partners, be those businesses or the public or the third sector organisations. So you might not want to be thinking about it, but now's probably the time to start thinking about your, your knowledge exchange, your commercialization strategies, and how to really build those meaningful relationships which, which drive the really deep impact from research. So I hope you enjoyed that brief roundup. Uh, Oxentia offer a wide range of services across knowledge exchange and commercialization for the higher education sector. If you think we can help, then please get in touch uh, via the website at oxentia.com or feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or even Twitter.